हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू द कोर्स माय नेम इज पीयूष दिस इज डे थ्री इन थर्टी डेज ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस टेराफॉर्म आई एम श्योर यू आर एन्जॉइंग टिल नाउ इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो आई विल हाईली रिकमेंड जस्ट टेक अ ग्लैंस एट द प्रीवियस कपल ऑफ वीडियोज एंड द डे जीरो वीडियोज इन विच आई हैव टॉक अबाउट थर्टी डेज ऑफ ए डब्ल्यू एस टेराफॉर्म चैलेंज हाउ टू डू द सबमिशन एंड हाउ टू क्लेम द प्राइजेज एंड सो ऑन सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दैट and make sure you follow the github repository of this repo um let me just quickly show you that as well and we'll start with this video so over here this is what we're going to do but let's first go to the github repository so github and you can just go to my github and link will be there in the description you might have already started it or you might have already forked the repo i'm pretty sure of that so let's go to um uh, repositories over here okay and you can just go to this terraform full course aws and da, 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 um inside that um here are the submission details how you can do the submission and you can just go to lessons and for example this is day 3 so day 3 folder is over here and it will have instructions like whatever we are doing in this video all the details are here in this readme file as well also it will ask you if you have not installed aws cli yet it will provide you details over here as well like how to do that how to run aws configure and provide your lots of other details now what you need to also do you need to go to task.md and you need to perform this task right you need to watch this video you need to write a blog explaining what you have learned and basically what i am trying to do you need to do the same but with your own example like in this video what we are trying to do in this video we are trying to provision an s3 bucket it is the simplest possible task that you going to be performing i'm not really going directly into project level or uh, like 3d or architecture kind of examples yet because i want to take things slow and then we'll build one step at a time we'll climb one ladder at a time okay so we have just started in the previous video we understood the providers how to initialize the provider and how to write your first terraform file now in this video we'll start with the resource creation resource provisioning which is an s3 bucket so as a devops engineer what we'll do is you will write the tf file okay and then using terraform commands and inside the terraform files you will initialize your provider which will call your aws api to provision the resource now you would need certain access for that we will run aws configure so this is what we have already run in the previous video but if you want you can run it again okay so this is what we are going to do so let's go back to our uh, vs code okay so this is day 0 folder Okay, let's create a new folder over here, day zero three. Okay, and I'm gonna copy the main dot tf from day zero two, and I'll just create a new file over here, main dot tf. And doesn't matter what name you choose for your file, Terraform does not expect you to write any name. It just keep it simple, keep it understandable, and it has to be with dot tf extension. That's why it will know that yes, this is the Terraform configuration file. Okay. so i'm going to paste it over here now i'm just going to remove this block because what we are going to do we are going to create an s3 bucket okay so we have a provider over here we have configured the aws provider with the default region now i'm going to create s3 bucket okay so as you can see github copilot is throwing me the suggestions auto completion already but uh, maybe we'll use that later on once we get into projects and so on but i want you to uh, just understand how documentation works with terraform right so let's go back to the documentation right now over here and search for s3 or aws underscore s3 and you will see different options over here so let's scroll up so dms we don't need this data sync we don't need this s3 over here so aws s3 bucket is the resource that we need okay so you can copy the example usage from here understand the argument reference like what are the mandatory fields what are the optional fields and you can make your changes accordingly okay so let me just scroll down as you can see there are a lot of uh, options that you can add 
but for this demo we just gonna keep things simple so i'm just gonna copy this and let's go back over here and paste it over here okay so what it is it's it starts with resource block as always uh, because this is how terraform uh, expect you to write your terraform resource configuration then your resource type which is aws underscore s3 underscore bucket and this is what we have got from the documentation this is the internal name okay so you can write it anything you want but make sure you write it meaningful so that because you will be referring this resource internally in other resources right so let's call it first bucket or demo bucket whatever right so give this uh, bucket a name so these are the tags but you need to provide a unique name to the bucket because s3 bucket has to be unique across all the aws regions right so let's call it tech tutorials okay it has auto suggested me some name so let me just add a few more details to it okay and there are a couple of tags so tags as you can see it's enclosed within curly braces it's a different data type over here it's just a string right so you have provided a name and the value in double quotes it's a string but it's a different data type and again as always we're gonna cover this in one of the later videos i don't want you to feel overwhelmed at this point okay so for now just understand there is a bucket name and then there are tags okay what are the tags it has a name a value it has an environment and a value okay so let's save this file and let's go in your terminal window make sure you switch the directory so day 03 okay over here i have my main.tf the first step that you will do is you initialize the terraform so tf in it this will initialize provider plugin it will initialize the backend and like this is the first step that you will be doing okay now run terraform plan and it will show you what all resources will be created once you run terraform apply so this is a dry run it's not actually creating the resources it is telling you that there is one resource to add what resource if you scroll up it will show you that terraform will perform the following action aws s3 bucket dot first bucket will be created with these details okay so now you can run tf apply okay now it will prompt you for this right it says enter a value yes or no do you want to perform this action it says terraform will perform this action what action this action it will try to add one bucket only yes will be accepted to approve let's say if i'm gonna say no then it will cancel it now if i need to bypass this prompt what i need to do is you need to run terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve now with this you won't get that prompt okay it will directly apply the changes and that's what we're gonna do now okay you see it says one plan to add bucket creating and bucket creation complete within one second this is the id let's go to our aws environment and da, 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 over here let's search for s3 okay over here where it is over here you see this bucket it was just created 11 46 pm and over here 13th october you see this is the bucket that was just created and this is as simple as now you can create any number of resources uh, using this terraform you can make any changes from here let's say if i want to update the tag okay currently let's look at the tags so in this bucket over here uh, metadata it doesn't have metadata let's see properties okay you see the tags environment is dev and name is my bucket so if we go back in the code okay and let's say we call it my bucket 2.0 okay and run apply again if you run terraform plan at this moment it will it will say you zero to add okay you see over here zero to add but one to change zero to destroy it says one resource is yet to be updated 
and then it did the modification. How did it know that there was a change? So it compared your Terraform configuration with the actual environment. Okay, it compared it and it says there is this tag should be there my bucket 2.0, but your S3 bucket has tagged my bucket. So there is a change that you need to apply. And that's how it applied the changes. And this comparison happened with the help of state file. Okay, so let's go over here. And currently you see the previous values. If I hit refresh somewhere, there is no refresh button. Okay, so let me just refresh the page. Okay, and over here you see now the bucket name is my bucket 2.0, the changes that we made. Right now, if I have to delete this bucket, what I can do is I can just simply run TF destroy. Now also over here as well, you can just add the parameter hyphen hyphen auto approve to skip the prompt, or you can just run it TF destroy and it will ask you whether you want to destroy the resource or not. So it says the bucket will be destroyed, right? Go back, enter a value. Do you really want to uh, destroy it yes and now it will say destroy complete one resource has been destroyed let's go back over here let's go to bucket and hit refresh the bucket is gone okay so that's the first resource that we wanted to create so this is what we did we ran terraform init plan apply and then destroy we ran all the major terraform commands like that's not just the only commands that we have in Terraform, but these are the major commands that you need to know as a beginner. And in the next video, we'll practice more. We'll look into more concepts of Terraform. And I hope you are enjoying the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, colleague, whoever can take advantage of this learning opportunity. And I will see you tomorrow. Make sure you complete the task in the GitHub repository and perform the submission. And that's it. Have a good day. Take care.